have a vacancy. So we, we put. Do we have a? Uh, do we have a job announcement yet, or a posting for that yet? Not yet. Okay. Yep. But letting the people out there in the know that we do have a vacancy at the town at the mm -hmm. town clerk's office. Okay. So these so are our replacement pages, Christy. Yeah, Shirley has um, come up with the. Her own with her budget, own budget now that she's the town clerk so right. um we went through to get that ready for you so that will replace what is behind the town clerk provider. thank you very much okay so I'd just like to start by saying i'm new at this so you may have to help me through it a little bit but <laughs> i'll um give you a little bit of my thought process in preparing this new budget and then you could have some questions for me then I'd be happy to try and answer them and if I can't I'll work on getting the answer for you. All right. Thank you. Um, I went through the budget that had been submitted to you already by Jane and um, it seemed appropriate to me to make some changes. Um, it, maybe the timing on some things might be different where I'm new in the position we're going to have some new people in the in the office um, I thought some things might maybe should wait and some changes should be made so that's what I went ahead and did um, would you like me to go th through each thing I what would be the best format for you did, and my we did going it last time we went line by line pretty much uh, do you want to go with the uh, the overall page or do you want to go line by line I'm asking the board. Uh, yeah, I think she. Well, why don't we just go through and take the the uh, the front page, the first page. All right. And we'll go through it. We'll have, ask if there's any questions on each line. All right. Okay. So, line uh, 41, 401, 1100, regular wages. Okay. Is there any questions oh. from the board? No, Deputy Town Clerk at a starting step uh, in the Teamsters contract and uh, bookkeeper uh, 13 weeks at five-year step and 39 weeks at starting step for the senior bookkeeper, Teamsters also. So that's uh, a total of 85631 Any questions? I don't have any problem. Uh, the next line, 1200 Mr. Chairman, I just have one wages. thing I'd like yep. to say. Sorry. Mm -hmm. First of all, I appreciate you you know, massaging this budget so that it fits your department because it's your department now. Mm -hmm. And I have no questions on this, and I'm prepared to move the ele election okay. registration and vital statistics if no one has any questions. Are we doing it that way, or? Do, do you to move the whole, oh, <clears throat> you moving the whole budget, the 41? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, we only got part, so only the first top part of it's changed. The voter registration and the election administration is the same as it was before. One, there is, a, uh, I believe, one change in um, the voter registration. You didn't get all the pages, Regina? Hmm? You should have got page three, four, and the cover sheet. Just All three of them are on the two pages. Top okay. part on it. Three oh, points. I only did the town clerk up here. So the detail has everything she wants. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Part. So let me just look through real quick. So the election administration uh, and supplies and expenses, town meeting expenses, moderators, right. wage, all that is. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Yeah. One. I don't have a problem <coughs> with that. So are there any questions for, on her? Her budget, Mary Louise. Yeah, wait one second because I want to get the bottom line before two twenty-three oh six. The town clerk. Bottom line should no. be because you didn't get the second the election administration and voter registration. Her bottom line is two hundred and fifty-three thousand four hundred and forty-seven dollars. That's twenty-eight thousand one thirty-nine for election administration, five thousand and two dollars for voter registration. And then 220306 for the town clerk. And what's what's that percentage? Do you know, Christy? It's up 1.05% for the whole department. Okay. okay. 1.05. Did you move yes. that? Yeah. yeah, I'll move that whole budget. I'll second that. Yeah. Good. Sorry about that confusion. That was uh, my fault there. Nope. 
Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Yeah. All those in favor? Unanimous. All right. I, if I may, I'd like to take a minute just to mention something. Um, there was some discussion, I believe, before Jane left, mm -hmm. and um, I would like to continue some discussion at some point in time that seems appropriate with the board. Um, I, again, have a vacancy in the office, which I mentioned, and I will be trying to fill it, and I anticipate there may be some problem in doing that based on the current um, rate of pay that is out there for that position. I understand it's a, a Teamster position, that it's a contract, mm -hmm. but I also believe there are some ways to adjust that if the board is willing to support me with that, um, whether it be to well, I'm not sure exactly. That's where I'll be looking to you yeah. to help um, how we can do that. But um, I've trained a number of people in the position over the last few years. It, it's expensive to train people yep. and lose them. It's not beneficial to the um, residents of the town because every time we train someone, there's quite a training uh, curve oh, yeah. for that department with the amount that they're required to learn, um, which slows up the lines as we go through that process. Yeah. And then we find that people, they take, they take the position, they know the rate that they're getting, but they have no way of anticipating right. the amount of responsibility yeah. and all that goes with the position. And they, we find that, I mean, there's different reasons people leave, but I, I believe part of the reason has been, a number of the times, is based on the fact that the wages is just not commensurate with with the amount of work and the responsibilities that go with it so i'm hoping that over the next few months the board will be able to help me do something to correct that so i would like to put that out there for and you can let me know maybe what's the best way to try and accomplish a that. quick question if right. i may which position are you referring to shirley is it under the part-time wages yes it would be a, a part-time um because you've assistant got the assistant clerk. clerk start step assistant clerk five years 21 year and hours that. and those both come under the teamsters contract yes they do okay and that are not the file clerk we don't have to worry nope, about that. that's not that's not just any, those um, two any. so you've got the starting wage and then the assistant clerk at five year step is okay mm hmm well if if the adjustment would, would be ma were made it would include both positions include because both it's the positions. same position it's just that one person's at a different step than the other okay. one would be um, so the start rate would change which would change that would as well. we have to reopen negotiations with the teamsters I believe so but Fred that's what the statute says either that or the parties have to agree to a uh, interim contract amendment which is difficult to do they just voted the contract town just voted the contract so uh, the normal procedure would be to reopen the contract hmm we chew it over for a little bit and yeah we're gonna have to I mean it's obviously you know and that's that's kind of what I told Jane but before is it's, to it's not an easy subject with to, council or and uh, we're gonna yeah. have to work through it I, and I understand it's not easy, but I also believe something can be done, but I won't be able to do it without your help. Yep. So, yeah. Totally agree. Okay, I'm making a note, and we will try to take a look at that. Okay. All right. All right. Anything else? We will look into it. All right. Very good. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you very Thank much. you, Shirley.